Hey, what's up, Eric? This is a demo video for you for your Mara Jade uh, by SP Savers and Props, and it is installed with a Profi. Um, just wanted to do this for you. This is something I do for every customer that I install a Saber for so that uh, I can go over all the features and functions for you. And, um, and uh, you know, by the time you get it, you know everything about it. Uh, this is a two button setup. So your switches are right here. There are these um, screws right here and they're on magnets. So what you want to do is just take them out. It doesn't matter which one goes into which hole, but they come right out. Uh, you've got two windows here. I opted to go for the clear lenses instead of the colored ones um, because I put two NeoPixel accents behind them and you can make them do whatever you want. So I'm mean, or or just whatever color you want. And then I put this one in here, obviously, and this had to shine through with the blade. Um, how to get to your chassis is a little bit different from when I would normally do the saber because your handle was completely thread locked onto the actual hilt. Uh, I spent a couple hours with uh, some WD-40, my strap wrenches. I actually broke one of my strap wrenches trying to get this thing off and it, it was not going to budge. So what I did this time around, I used the same chassis, but I made it a removable chassis. All right, so first off, you want to unscrew your pommel. All right, so we'll take that off. This will be better for you probably because you said you planned on weathering the saber when you got it. So now when you get it, uh, you can take the electronics out and you don't have to worry about getting any kind of uh, solvents on the electronics. All right, but when we take your pummel off, we'll come up here, take the switches off first, and then take the emitter off. All right, you can unscrew it right here. And when you take this off, of course, you can see the top of your chassis with your switches. Your two tactiles there also have magnets on them. And we'll just go ahead and push this back. Push it back a little ways, it'll pop out the back, and you can go ahead and pull it right out. All right, and then you've got your profi board here. Uh, I, do, I do have your sound fonts on here. It's the Sorcerer package from Kyberphonic. So you wanted the Ahsokas. Uh, I got you both. It's the best car and the standard versions. And you wanted purple and magenta blades. So there's a purple for the best car and a magenta blade for the standard. All right. A removable battery setup. You're running a 28 millimeter Smuggles Outpost Elite speaker. Um, and that's pretty much it. This is a very solid chassis. It's one of my older models, but it works fine. Surrender or face the consequences. We'll put the battery in here. These are on a timer, so if you don't turn on the saber right away, they'll time out on you so they don't kill your battery. When you get this in person, um, you'll also see that I made two black marks on the edge. Whoops, let me get this light out of the way. I made two black marks on, on the ring of this handle here, and it shows you how to put the, uh, the chassis in so your switches line up. All right, so we'll put that in real quick. You can get to about right here. You do not want to push on the speaker. What you can do is just come over here and grab your chassis and pull it forward. Pull it forward as far as it goes. All right. And then we'll come over here and we'll throw our handle on it. Typically, I use this chassis to be a static piece, but it worked out well for removable as well. And if you got that right, when you, when you uh, tighten this all the way, you're not going to see it on camera. But you'll see your magnets for your switches. Oh, you can see one there lined up with the hole well the other one lined up well there so you can take either one of these and just throw them in and they will go right to their home all right and then we can come back over here and screw on the pommel so screw the pommel on it goes on all the way um when you have your switches facing up like this so the switches are pointed up the one on your left hand side is your power Your LEDs here and then they do a little something different when the saber's off and of course your right hand is your auxiliary you got a Carl Chan PCB in here nice shine through here and we turn it off just like that this is a super loud saber it takes a 7 8 inch NeoPixel blade so we'll throw one in here and lock it down I did make sure there's enough blade depth. There's plenty of blade depth 
first of all, but there's enough blade depth for your blade plug to fit in also. All right. Very solid. Shine through here and your accent LEDs. Blade lock grip is holding down the ox and hitting the saber. We'll go to another one. I saw Katano. Smoke a tan sent me. This will be the standard edition. And then each of your sound or your sound fonts have a soundtrack, so it's a long press on the power when the saber's off. And another long press to turn it off. And your other one has the same. I saw Katano! Smoke a tan sent me. And the same to turn it off. Just like that. All right, so we'll go ahead and we'll take the blade out of here and I'll show you how to dismantle it. Very easy to do. So first the blade, you do really want to pay attention that you go in this order, all right? First the blade, then the switches. You can see these will time out here in a second. If we don't do anything, they just timed out. So then the switches. Now you can either do the emitter or the pommel. All right, it doesn't matter which of those you do first. We'll take that off. We'll come over here and we'll take our pummel off as well. And then again, come over here and don't press on your pogo pins, but from the side of the chassis, just push it back a little bit. You'll see it come out the back of your saber and you can pull it straight out. And let me um, grab a tool real quick. If you can't get the battery out with your finger, just grab a tool like the back of a pair of tweezers or something. Pop it out like that. All right. And that's pretty much uh, your Mara Jade. So let me know if you have any questions. And um, if not, I will try to get this out in the mail to you. Since it's Friday today, uh, this guy will go out in the mail uh, first thing Monday morning. All right. Thanks.